Hello everyone and welcome back to Moon Moth Goddess Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my main tarot channel here on YouTube. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, please make sure you also check out my other tarot channel, uh, Neptune's Child Tarot, where you will find additional content that is more uh, self-focused readings for those of you that are looking into improving other areas of your life, um, such as career and finances, uh, your spiritual path journey, spiritual gifts, ancestors, uh, spirit guides, future self, past lives, things of that nature. You'll also want to check out uh, my other channel. So you can also find those uh, links for that down below pinned to the comments with the timestamps for this video as well as in the description box. For those of you that are wanting to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box where you can send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings with me. So today's pick a card reading, we're looking at the connection between you and your person. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? So after you choose your pile that you feel drawn to, we are going to do a little bit of an energy check to see what is the current situation between you and your person. And that will help you to make sure that you do have the right pile. If that first situation that kind of comes through is not something that matches what you and your person are going through, then I would say choose a different pile, okay? Because I want to make sure you guys are choosing the right pile so that these readings are actually helping you and that you're not choosing one that has really nothing to do with your situation, okay? So what will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? And like I said, we're going to do a little energy check to make sure you have the right one. So pile number one is going to be the steampunk tarot, and that is with this blue appetite crystal here for pile number one. And then pile number two is going to be, which is this, the Edgar Allan Poe tarot, and that is going to be with this blue agate For pile number two and then pile number three is going to be the black ibis or ibis tarot and that is with this little tiger's eye here for pile number three and I will have all of the decks that I'm using today listed down below in the description box for you guys so steampunk tarot and blue appetite for pile one, Edgar Allan Poe tarot and the blue agate for pile number two, and then the black ibis tarot and the tiger's eye for pile number three. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi pile one, so those of you that resonated with the steampunk tarot and the blue appetite, this is going to be a reading. I'm actually gonna put this over here. So as I said in the intro, we are going to be doing a little bit of an energy check to make sure that you have chosen the right pile so you're getting the right messages that are helping you uh, in this situation. So we're going to look at what the current energy is in your connection. Um, and if this part doesn't match, then you might want to go back and choose a different pile. So let's see, pile number one. What is the current situation in your connection with your person? What is the current situation in pile number one's connection? What is the current situation in pile number one's connection? Okay, so we have the seven of swords. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that some of you could be dealing with someone who maybe is avoidant. We're seeing the emperor here as well. Someone who's avoidant, running away. Um, now this could be, you know, many different things, of course. It could be someone who comes in close to you. And then as soon as things get intense between the two of you, this person just kind of pulls back, withdraws. Um, this can also be someone who is really avoiding you altogether, meaning that you guys could be no contact. Um, the Seven of Swords can also be a card of deception, trickery. Um, 
So that may be something for some of you. But more or less, we're kind of seeing this guy who looks like he's kind of running away here, stealing swords. Um, so the Seven of Swords can also talk about a lot of scattered thinking, like disorganized thoughts. Um, or that, yeah. So it could even be somebody who is maybe not giving you clear, maybe messages. Um, it could even be that you kind of feel all over the place with this connection, like not really knowing what's happening. Um, with the Emperor energy, I'm also getting some of you that this person, you may have a hard time reading them as far as what their feelings are. Uh, they may not really talk about so much of their feelings and get into all the lovey-dovey stuff, but they may more or less be someone who at times shows you, you know, based off of um, certain actions that they might have at times that show you that they care, that show you that they are you know, about this connection, but then I'm feeling there's a little bit of a change that might happen with that person. So let's see what else. What is the current energy in your connection pile number one? Hangman. Okay. So with the hangman energy, some of you could feel like this connection isn't really progressing, not really moving forward. You kind of feel like you're kind of stuck in limbo right now. And let's see what else. What is the current situation in pile number one's connection? We have the seven of pentacles. Okay, so it kind of feels like there is this energy of a pause here, like things being on hold. The seven of pentacles is also about uh, taking some time for reflection, for uh, assessment, reevaluation of things, because many of you with the seven of pentacles energy have already invested time and energy into this connection. And the seven of pentacles, if you can see, he's just kind of like pausing and looking at his pentacles in the garden here. So it could be that you were in this place of a pause, your person or kind of things just kind of feel like they are on pause right now. Let's see what else. Some of you may even feel a little bit frustrated with kind of feeling I've invested my time and energy into this and what is it manifesting into? Where, what is happening here? What is the current situation in Pile One's connection? We have the sun. Okay. So with the sun energy, it, it makes me feel like, you know, of course, all of you are going to be in different situations, but the sun, I feel like primarily is a beautiful energy of happiness, of joy of fulfillment, you know, feeling abundant. So it could be maybe these are the types of feelings that you have with this person. Um, those of you that are in separation, you know, or broken up from this person, this person and you are not together, then I feel like there is also these feelings of happiness. Maybe when you think about one another, um, but let's see what else. What is the current situation? In pile number one's connection, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this makes me feel like the situation that you're kind of in with this person is that there's not a whole lot of action. Not a whole lot of action. And some of you, it makes me feel like some of you could be dealing with someone where they're, they're, the words that they're saying to you may not align with what is actually happening. It's making me feel like there's a lot of holding back here, just spinning your wheels, but nothing's moving forward. What is the current situation? What is the current situation between pile one and their person? Eight of Cups. Okay, so yeah, for some of you, it could be that you feel either you're withdrawn from them, they w are withdrawn from you. Some of you, it could be a situation where someone has walked away. Someone has walked away. Okay. Um, with the Ace of Cups energy here, those of you where that is the situation where this person is withdrawn from you, or the two of you have had a breakup, 
I feel like there's a lot of feelings that are involved here with the Ace of Cups. Some of you, this could be about reconciliation or wanting reconciliation. I'm feeling like there is avoidance of talking about feelings, sharing feelings. The Four of Swords in reverse, it's kind of like the mind is not at rest. It's not at peace. There's a lot of unstable thoughts, unstable thinking. And I'm noticing how that is kind of surrounding this Ace of Cups. So it makes me feel like there is someone who's not talking about feelings. Someone who's not talking about feelings. I'm, I'm also seeing the Death card in reverse. The death card in reverse can be when we are resistant to change, resistant to transformation. Um, so maybe some of you are even dealing with a person that has not been able to heal from past situations that they've gone through in relationships. And because of that, that is creating... I feel like difficulties with them being able to kind of allow themselves to open up, open up their heart. For some of you, I feel like this person is kind of like taking this pause or this break to really think about their feelings, emotions here. That's kind of what I'm saying. Let's look really quick. We're going to get some Oracle cards. What is the current situation between pile one and their person? strategy and I can see that with the emperor because the emperor is about planning trying to find solutions right in preparation to take some kind of action and like I said with the knight of swords it's kind of like you have the thoughts about it right you're thinking about stuff planning stuff but then <laughs> there's like no gas in the car like where are we going um so let's see what else what is the current situation between pile one and their person? Appreciation. And I'm seeing man holding a heart at the bottom. So yeah, it makes me feel like there's feelings that are here. Feelings that are here. But, and then also the appreciation. It's like this person sees, right, the light I feel like that you bring into this connection. Maybe trying to think of a way how to express feelings. Maybe for some of you where there has been withdrawal or detachment, avoidance, someone pulling away, not talking about their feelings. We have the sun again. Okay. It's like, to me, this person sees you as someone who's very stand out, but it's like almost like there's avoiding of your feelings, emotions, talking about them. This person could feel very anxious, maybe about, it almost feels like anxious avoidant, um, maybe feeling anxious when it comes to talking about feelings and emotions and they just kind of pull away. But there's definitely this appreciation here. Okay, so now let's see what, uh, if that matched, okay, then you know you've chosen the right pile. So let's see, what will they do next? what will happen between you and this person. So we're going to use the steampunk tarot now. Pile number one. What will they do next, pile one? What will happen between the two of you? Okay, now remember, we've seen the death card in reverse. Like I said, the death card in reverse is sometimes when we're resistant to changing something, right? And if that person has that tendency to avoid feelings, run away, you know, things of that nature and, you know, not working towards changing that pattern of behavior within themselves, that could be an issue, right? That could be an issue. Let's see. What will they do next? Pile one. What will happen between you and your person? What will happen next? What will they do next, pile one? What will happen between the two of you? 
the moon. Okay. This makes me feel like there's still a lot of irrational fears this person has. Keeping things hidden, concealed, mysterious. The moon brings in doubts, fears, illusions, secrets, hiding, concealing things. The moon is kind of like this reflection of our subconscious mind, right? Where things are hidden. We're leaving things hidden. We're holding things in. Suppressing feelings. Not revealing. Things that need to be illuminated. So it makes me feel it's like maybe this person's afraid. What will they do next? Pile number one. What will happen between the two of you? What will they do next? Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot of restriction with the Eight of Swords. You know? And I feel like it's like this person's own fears. Of course, we can always work towards removing ourselves, right? Out of this energy of not letting our fears hold us back. But it is challenging. It is difficult for us. But not... Uh, that we can't if we put the effort into changing, right? Instead of reverting into the negative space, the negative thinking. But that Eight of Swords energy is where we get in our own head. We overthink, we overanalyze, you know, uh, a lot of negative thoughts with the Eight of Swords that hold us back. What will they do next? What will happen between you? Pile number one. The death card. Hopefully that's a good thing. For this person. Let's see. What will they do next? Pile one. What will happen between the two of you? What will they do next? Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. We had some Aries energy earlier. We've got Sagittarius with Temperance. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Knight of Wands. Do I like that? I don't know if I like that yet. We'll see. What will they do next? What will happen between you? We have the Three of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Interesting. Hmm. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? I am feeling that spirit is saying here, there is a need for you to be patient with this person. Okay. There's a need for you to be patient. Um, What will they do next? The star. Okay. Yes. Four of swords at the bottom. Okay. So yes, I'm feeling that there, and I'm seeing the nine of cups is right underneath that, which is a card of wish fulfillment. So what I'm kind of seeing happening here is I feel like your person is working on their actions here because the knight of wands, mm, I feel like your person's trying to work towards channeling this energy in a better way. At least with the actions that they took towards you. Because with temperance, temperance is where we transmute energy. It is the process of alchemy. So we have what I'm going to say is over here, these four cards right here, 
not so great energy, okay? The moon brings in all the fears, the insecurities, the, you know, suppressing feelings, emotions, doubts, uncertainty, all the negative thoughts and, you know, the self-limiting beliefs and self-sabotaging thoughts that keep us stuck, okay? And then we also have the Three of Swords energy here, which is a card of separation, breakups, uh, pain, suffering. There's a need for healing. We also have the Five of Pentacles energy here, which is uh, can be about feelings of lack. Um, it can be a very challenging card. Sometimes we can be stuck in a lack mindset, a lack mentality. The Five of Pentacles can also talk about abandonment. So some of you, this person may have that tendency to shut you out, withdraw from you. They could be someone who has fears of abandonment. Um, they could be someone who abandons you, ghosts you, blocks you, um, you know, withdraws, cut things off, hurt your feelings, you know, in this and make you feel like, why can't we get past this? But I feel like almost like your person is kind of like this work in progress of, of changing these patterns of behaviors because <sighs> We have death here again, which is about transformation, endings, a change. Um, I am noticing that in this death card here, there is this man that's standing back at this gravestone here and putting flowers on it. And this woman who is death and she's sitting here on the horse, almost like she's kind of looking back, right? She's listening or... Maybe he's saying something too. And this almost to me is kind of like symbolic of your person, in a sense, putting their past to rest, right? All these things that kind of sit within this moon energy for them is them working towards transforming, them working towards changing to, to make peace with their past in a sense. Like, let's release this. Let's let go. So these things are no longer something that are hindering connections moving forward. So it makes me feel like your person is in this process of transformation of these energies and transmuting them in, in a way. So of course, you know, Knight of Wands to me is, that's where I'm kind of seeing it as a work in progress because the Knights within the tarot, they represent the energy of a teenager, right? So this person's actions, let's just say with the Knight of Wands are teenager like, Okay, maybe maybe they go back to ghosting and, you know, those kind of more a little bit more immature types of, of behavior. But I'm, I'm kind of seeing it as that this person is working towards changing, working towards transforming, transmuting this energy. Um, the maturity level is something I feel like with their actions is that they're, that's what's happening here is, is a working towards changing that. Because we do have the King of Pentacles energy here. So I feel like this person is someone who is very capable of being able to commit for long term with the King of Pentacles. Because this is a very grounded, you know, stable, committed energy. And I, and I feel like some of you could be dealing with someone who's very successful with their career. You know, they can put a lot forth of their effort towards, you know, doing uh, good, making money and and providing security and stability, okay? Um, so I'm kind of seeing is that as far as what will they do next, I feel like some of you kind of might be on this receiving end where you're still dealing with this, okay? So I'm seeing this as potentially abandonment, you know, separation, hidden feelings, you know, uh, negative thoughts that are keeping them stuck, restricted, but with the Four of Swords as the overall energy, this could also maybe for some of you be no contact, okay? And I'm seeing how there is this little hourglass here with the sands that are kind of falling through there. The Four of Swords is a card of rest, resting the mind, gaining clarity, right? So that we can think very clearly about the actions that we want to take, how we're going to move forward. So some of you, it could be that there is this period of no contact that you go through. Okay, separation, abandonment, hidden feelings, the person not really talking to you or telling you about their feelings. But to me, there is hope that's here with the change because this person is working towards, 
you know, taking action. The Knight of Wands is also, you know, doesn't, it's not just something negative. The Knight of Wands can also be very powerful to us because that same energy of a teenager, if you think about it in a positive way, it's like we feel excited to do something. We feel passionate, like, oh my goodness, like I want to do this. I want to, you know, put my energy towards this and I'm excited about it. It's a lot of unbridled energy. So it's kind of like this person is learning how to harness I feel like their power and direct it into a way that allows them to be able to take maybe even action towards changing this part of themselves, right? Where they can come out, you know, uh, as this King of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like they're perfectly capable of being able to create, like I said, a more grounded energy, show you more commitment. The Empress here, to me, it's like this person sees your worth, right? But it almost makes me feel like there's a lot of stuff from this person's past that has been creating challenges for them when it comes to their relationships. With the Empress energy here, this is a card of new beginnings and a card of abundance and love and fertility and growth and nurturing and I don't doubt that you and this person have strong feelings towards one another, okay? Um, with the star energy here, I feel like there could be a lot of healing, okay, that we're seeing here. A lot of healing that this person is working through. And they may even be someone who kind of shifts their focus towards career, right? As they're working towards changing this energy here. So... That's kind of where I'm feeling there is a need for you to be patient with things, okay? And that may mean, and I don't mean like with being patient, like just sit around and wait and wait and wait. Do your thing. Focus on you. Focus on your career growth, your soul's expansion. Focus on your healing, right? Because for some of you, it could be that you're separated, that you're broken up. Or that this person, you know, has or still stuck in unhealthy patterns of behavior where they pull away and then make you feel confused and then hurt your feelings and then make you feel sad and then you feel, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like as this person is working towards changing, don't lower your standards, especially with the Empress being here. Do not lower your standards, right? And stand your ground with what it is that you really want from this and let this person know, right? This is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. And, you know, of course, I'm not going to sit around and wait forever. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling with the Empress energy here that there's definitely feelings that are here. I'm feeling for some of you after this process of working through these energies that this person may take action towards allowing themselves to open up to their heart, their feelings, their emotions with the star energy here. To me, it's like there's hope. It's about having trust, faith, you know, in the connection that you have with this person to know that, yes, these are obstacles right now. These, this is challenging energy, right? This doesn't disappear overnight. This takes a person who acknowledges this is a problem for me and I need to work on myself. Okay, I need to work on myself. So as this person is working on themselves, focus on you. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. But yeah, this makes me feel like what will happen between the two of you is that it is very possible for the two of you to be able to move towards a stable, committed partnership. But I do feel like it is going to take time. Okay, because this person does have some stuff that they have to work through. Um, so some of you, yes, you could be dealing with a person who is cutting things off, withdrawn, not telling you about their feelings, too afraid to, but this transformation is happening, okay? You could be going through this period of no contact for some of you as this person is working towards healing. Um, so let's look at, what was at the bottom? Nine of Cups, okay, yeah. What's under that? Three of Cups. For some of you, that can be reconnecting, reconciliation. Yes, but the Knight of Pentacles energy makes me feel like, yes, the person 
Mm, it's going to take some time. This person, some of you are dealing with somebody who moves very, very slow. And that can get frustrating. Okay, that, of course, can get frustrating. Like, why aren't things progressing? Why aren't things changing? Why aren't things moving along? Okay. We also have, what, Aquarius energy here, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, what else? Gemini. Okay. So let's see what else pile number one. What will they do next and what will happen between the two of you? Okay. So if any of these messages don't make you feel like, you know, like you feel confused by them, just keep in mind this is a general reading and... If you'd like something more specific for your situation to know exactly what's going on with you, um, I'm open for private readings, but I do, of course, have booked out a little bit. Um, so I do appreciate you guys for your patience. So what will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Pile number one, what will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have soulmate. Soul connection, a friend, romantic partner, and compatibility. So like I said, I don't doubt that you guys have a strong connection with each other. I feel like this person does have some strong feelings towards you. We have proof, and it says search information, needing confirmation, searching for answers, and exaggerating minor issues. And to me, that kind of sounds like triggering. Triggering things, because person might get uncomfortable. Searching for answers, needing confirmation. Some of you could be like... Maybe this person wants to make sure. Does pile number one really love me? Can I really trust this situation? Can I trust my heart? Let's see what else. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Happiness. Finding happiness. A happy ending. Feeling blessed and grateful. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But like I said, it's going to take some time. But I do feel like there is hope. Um, there's a need, like I said, to be patient with temperance because things are changing, but it doesn't happen overnight, right? Someone has to be willing to work on themselves to change. We have old school here and it says old fashioned thinking takes dating seriously and also takes things slow. Okay. Takes things slow. What will they do next? Okay. Look at that. There it is. Ghosting. Abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. Like I said, some of you might be dealing with that. You could be going through it right now with this person. Mutual feelings. Your feelings are mutual. Equal give and take and a compromise. At the bottom of the deck, this won't resonate for all of you, but we have third party here. A love triangle. Something is interfering. Competition and the enemy. Some of you could be in that situation where there is another person involved. Doesn't necessarily even have to be that they're still with this person. They can still be holding on to stuff from their past that they're going back to in their subconscious mind of, oh, this happened to me with my previous relationship. So I shouldn't trust my heart or I shouldn't jump into things too quickly. Okay. Can also be other things that are interfering. Family members, friends, distance, job, you know, something of that uh, nature. Let's see what else. What will they do next? What will happen between you? Pile number one. Sadness. We have a new beginning. And you know, of course, you can be the one feeling sad if this person ghosts you. They can also be working through this feelings of sadness, right? Trying to heal their past. Trying to heal their past. We have caught here. Caught what? Caught what? Prayer. I want to see caught what? <laughs> caught what, pile one? Let's see. Prayer. That makes me feel like they're trying to remain hopeful or optimistic here. Okay. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, if this person is a really, if you are in a third party, maybe they got caught by the other person. I don't know. It may not be for all of you. Let's see. What is this caught energy here? Two of swords. This is feeling conflicted, confused, indecisive. 
Maybe they're caught. Maybe that means that they're caught in, in a place of indecision. Uh, what is the caught energy here? Six of Cups in reverse. This is something about their past that they haven't let go of. Memories from their past. Some of you, there may even be children that are involved in this situation that are also creating um, blockages here. What else? What is this caught energy? Justice. Mm. Justice here. Okay, justice is about us making a decision. It's weighing our options here, right and wrong. We're trying to make the best possible decision for ourselves. Some of you, this justice card, if you are in a third party situation, this person could even be right in a marriage. Um, having to make some type of decision. I'm seeing she's got tarot cards here. trying to weigh their options here maybe the person is caught up in their past and that is something that's creating conflict for them here as well let's see what else do we want to do here let's go into this one these are going to be the last messages pile one what will they do next what will happen between the two of you fulfillment okay so yeah i'm getting it's like Mm -hmm. There's a need for pot. I mean, there's a need for patience with this situation. Okay. I feel like the fulfillment will come. It will happen. There's mutual feelings that are here. We have rigid. To me, that looks like a, like a, a wall here. Maybe this person has to change their rigid way of thinking. We have a reminder and it says, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget what? Maybe... The feelings here. What is this reminder? What is this reminder? The five of wands. Five of wands. I don't know. This could be about conflict. Challenges. Some of you, there could be other people involved. Right? So maybe it's not simple. Maybe it's complicated for some of you. Right? Maybe the, don't forget the challenges that this person's going through or that you might be going through. We also have the full energy here, which is about taking a leap of faith. Taking a leap of faith. What is this fulfillment? Nine of Wands in reverse. And that to me is blockages, anxiety that this person having, but... The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. Slow and steady. So it makes me feel like Spirit's saying here, you will have the fulfillment in this connection. And there we go. We've got the King of Wands. That's what I like. Because it's like there's this change that's happening from this person being the Knight into the King. Okay? More mature actions. So they're actions that are changing here so over time. More mature actions to align with, you know, doing what they need to in this connection or maybe for both of you. So I'm feeling the fulfillment's here. It's coming. Um, but taking their time, okay? Slowly, little by little, baby steps with this person because of fears, anxieties that are here. But yeah, I feel like cha definitely changing into this King of Wands. Yes, more mature. Okay. It could be a little bit of a blind spot for them right now. The Four of Cups is here. But we have the Hangman, and that is about a change or a shift in perspective that this person could be having, right? Versus kind of sitting around saying, okay, I can't do anything about my life, and, you know, I, I feel unfulfilled. Okay, we work on changing it. We work on changing our perspective on life, right? Because the Four of Cups, it could be when we feel sorry for ourselves. We're just like kind of like having a pity party and saying, okay, well, I don't like anything in my life right now, but we don't do anything to change it, right? That hangman helps us to really gain insight, enlightenment. We take a step back from a situation to say, okay, how can I approach this differently? 
How can I think about this differently? Okay. And I'm seeing the four of wands under there with the three of wands, queen of wands. I like that. Yeah. Makes me feel like you are someone who's already in your power and this person is working to try to get there. They're not quite there yet, but it's something that's going to happen. And I feel like the three of wands, four of wands, it's like this person, you know, has the potential for the two of you to really plan ahead for the two of you to have some type of, I don't know, I'm getting engagement. Maybe some of you, this person wants to marry you, you know, um, plans. Maybe the two of you have talked about a future with each other and, you know, having that beautiful ceremony or something between the two of you. Okay. So that may just definitely be something that's on the horizon for you. But yes, I feel like there's definitely a need for patience here with this slow mover that's here. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number one, I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Paul 2. So those of you that resonated with the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot and the Blue Agate, this is going to be your reading today. And before... We get into your what will they do next what will happen between the two of you we're just going to do a quick energy check to see what is the current situation between you and your person and if this part matches um, then you know that you've chosen the right pile so let's see pile two what is the current situation in your connection with your person what is the current situation between you and your person okay so we have the two of pentacles capricorn energy what is the current situation the three of wands Hermit in reverse. What is the current situation between you and your person? Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. We also have Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have strong Virgo and Aries. What is the current situation in your connection? We have the five of pentacles. We have the lover's energy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Queen and King of Cups right next to each other. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting as this situation uh, that is happening between you and this person is that there is a very strong connection here between you and this person, okay? We have the King and Queen of Cups, so I'm definitely feeling there are feelings, mutual feelings that you guys both have towards each other. But I'm also getting that with this Two of Pentacles energy here, you may kind of get very hot and cold energy from this person. And some of you, it could be that there is distance, physical distance. It could be a long distance connection. Some of you I'm getting with the with the Hermit energy, the Five of Pentacles. It could be that you or this person is withdrawn from one another at this time. Um, meaning that there could be no contact. There with the Five of Pentacles, this could even be being ghosted or you know, feeling abandoned in the situation. And I'm feeling that with the Three of Wands energy here, there's a lot of this energy of anticipation, of waiting, longing for someone. Some of you, I am getting that there could be another person that's involved in this situation. I'm seeing that although we do have the King and Queen of Cups, we've got a Queen of Swords here. 
So that could be someone for some of you that is an influence outside of this situation. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm also getting this as either you or this person. Someone here, I feel like, has reached this point where they are kind of maybe tired of the whole back and forth, hot and cold. Because I feel for some of you, it's like you could be waiting for something tangible between you and this person because there's feelings that are here. And I feel like maybe you've been also very patient waiting for this person for some of you. But yeah, this whole two of pentacles energy to me is kind of giving very hot and cold mixed feelings. Some of you could be that this person comes in and is super loving and open and showing you that they care. And then at other times with the queen of swords energy here, they may be very detached. Uh, it's kind of what I'm getting. So it almost makes me feel like you're dealing with a hot and cold situation where there is a strong connection here, but someone who also I feel like can come across at times is also very guarded. Okay. It's kind of the situation that's coming through here. Some of you, if you are really in a third party situation, then it could be, I'm kind of looking at this as maybe this is your connection here. The lovers, the king and queen of cups. Um, and there could be an outside influence that is here. Um, some of you can even be with or dealing with somebody who is married or you could even be married in a or in a committed another committed relationship let's see what is the current situation between you and your person mutual feelings i feel like with the king and queen of cups we have cornucopia which is this energy of abundance we have appreciation here so very strong connection between you and this person definitely love or very strong feelings of liking someone, okay? Especially for those of you where you haven't really had so much time and energy put into this. It may not necessarily be at like full on in love or in love. Maybe it's the two of you really like each other with the King and Queen of Cups, okay? You feel that there is a strong connection. What is the current situation? What is the current situation? Woman holding a heart. Okay, and then I'm seeing goddess of the moon at the bottom. So yeah, maybe for some of you, it's being unable to express feelings, heart. Hmm. Some of you could be even a hidden, hidden feelings, hidden emotions that are here on both sides. Okay, so that's just going to the current situation that's coming through. It just does, doesn't really match what you're going through. Then I would say go back and choose another pile. Okay, so now let's see what will they do next? What will happen between you and this person? We're going to go into the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? What will they do next? Pile number two. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? What will they do next? Nine of Swords. Okay. Nine of Swords is a lot of anxiety, a lot of fears, a lot of worrying, a lot of thinking or planning, thinking about something from the future, something that hasn't happened. Maybe there's feeling very nervous about something. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have the Page of Wands. Some of you, I feel like this person feels anxious about um, messaging, communicating. We have the Eight of Swords energy here. What will they do next? What will happen? We've got the Ten of Cups and also the Three of Pentacles. 
those of you that are separated, I feel like this person is wanting to reconnect with you here. Reconnect, reconciliation. Um, for others of you, it is about coming together with you, you know, working towards building something with you, a foundation in this connection. Some of you, it could even be that they fear kind of like going up to you for the first time or talking to you or pursuing you. But I'm seeing the Ten of Cups energy here, which makes me feel like this person looking here. It's like this garden is really very well maintained. The Ten of Cups is a card of happiness and fulfillment. But we're seeing this here, the Eight and the Nine of Swords. Those are those thoughts that create blockages. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have the Queen of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Wands. We have Justice. And then we have the Lovers. Okay. And then I'm seeing the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Magician. Okay. So it makes me feel like this person is, you know, we do have the Eight and the Nine of Swords here. However, I feel like this person is going to be able to kind of move past this energy, the thoughts in their mind. And... I'm feeling take action here. Like this person is feeling guided to take action, wanting to manifest, wanting to, <clears throat> I feel like persevere with your connection, even past the obstacles, past the obstacles here. I am seeing justice. She looks, she doesn't look happy. I don't know, maybe for some of you that are in kind of like third party situations and a person is trying to leave another person or trying to, or maybe they're going through a divorce or separation. Maybe that could be something that the person is kind of following through with. But with justice and the lovers here, to me, this very well could be some serious commitment here. Okay, very serious commitment. Of course, it won't be for all of you. This is a general reading. But some of you, it could even be that this person has plans of being with you. And that could be taking your connection way step further. Okay, so be discerning with that message. Like I said, this is a general reading. That's not going to be for all of you that are watching this video. But for some of you, that Justice and Lovers card could very well be a marriage, a commitment. Um for the two of you, okay? And you will know if that is you based off of your person's actions, right? Um, changes they're making to their own actions towards you and showing you that this is what they want, this is what they're moving forward with, you know? But of course, if you're in a no contact type of situation with the person and it's been like five years, then the likelihood of this being something that happens may not be for you. Okay, so yes, be discerning with that message. But yes, I'm seeing this as um, being able to overcome things here with the Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's a card of success and achievements. And to me, more or less, it's this person being able to kind of overcome these thoughts and things that are kind of holding them back in a sense. So I'm seeing the Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Lovers, um, the Page of Wands energy. It could even be that this person is trying to create some type of new start or new beginning in life to be able to pursue. Now, even in this Page of Wands, I'm seeing how this little devil creature is kind of like chasing after him. Like, you know, so it, it makes me feel like there are fears that are there, you know, that this person has. But with the magician energy here, this is about this person wanting to manifest 
You know, the seven of wands is a card of perseverance. We know that there's challenges, but it's about us standing our ground with a decision that we've made. And it makes me feel like this person is interested in pursuing and taking things a step further. Some of you, that may mean some serious commitment here. Okay. Um, I'm still kind of getting here with the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, there could still be a little bit of unpredictability that you have from this person. Meaning because there are fears that are here, right? And those could be things that could temporarily be setbacks uh, within this connection. Where their energy is a little bit unpredictable with you. Um, what else? Okay, so we do have Gemini, Libra, Leo. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy is coming through. Okay, so let's see what else here. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Wow, there it is right there. Commitment promises making it official marriage in your future. Now, like I said, be discerning. This is a general reading. You'll know, you know, if your person is showing you, like, without a doubt, this is happening, you know, based off of their actions. And they're telling you that we're doing this. We're making it happen. Okay. But we do have engagement there, marriage in your future. And I'm, I can see that right here. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have against time here. And it says rushing before it's too late. Took a long time. Or also walking on thin ice. Okay. So some of you could have even told, you know, this person like, hey, you need to get it together. You need to make a choice, make a decision. You know, third party situation or not. Some of you, it could be that you've the whole back and forth hot and cold thing for some of you. It's like telling this person, you either make a decision about us or I'm going to walk. Okay. Let's see. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have heartbreak, suffering and grieving, unable to move on and also break up. Let's see. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have a mental prison. Overthinking, creating scenarios, right? In your mind. That's what's happening up here with the eight and nine swords. Thinking of you a lot. Okay. Let's see what else. Some of you could be separated right now. Okay. Right? We have reconciliation here. Want to work things out. They will return. And there's unfinished business between the two of you. Okay. So maybe for some of you, if, this, if you and this person right now are going through breakup, separation, um... This person has been unable to move on, thinking about your connection, uh, reconciliation here. Okay. Now, of course, like I said, be discerning with that because you really know based off of your person's actions. Are they reaching out? Are they talking to you? Are they communicating? You know, um, are they showing you that they're putting an effort towards reconciling with you? Okay. Those actions have to align. Okay, let's see what else. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have persuasion here. We also have prayer. I don't know. Maybe for somebody, this person might be trying to persuade you to getting back together with them. Um, talking to them. We have prayer here. What will they do next? Game face. I'm getting for some of you with the game face here, they may not be telling you all of their plans. Like they might be keeping a lot of this stuff, right? As they're figuring things out here. We also have divine intervention. Some of you, it's kind of like this person is leaving it up to spirit, right? Universe, source, God. Um... Like almost this feeling of if you and this person are truly meant to be with each other, the universe is going to make it happen, right? If you're truly meant for this person, you will not miss them, okay? You will not miss them. If a person is meant for you, 
they will, the two of you will be together. Okay, let's see. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Do I want to take that one? Yes, okay. Insecurity. Insecurity. I am seeing religious factors at the bottom. So some of you, this could even be like cultural cultural differences, differences in religion, you know, families that are involved. They could maybe for some of you, if they're worried about that, you know, that can also be a thing here too. Okay, what else do I want to do? Let's go into these. Okay, so these are going to be our last messages, pile number one. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? To me, this looks like an energy of surrender. You know, divine intervention taking place, especially for those of you that are meant to be with each other. It's going to happen. Okay. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Loyalty. This makes me feel like this is spirit saying this person's heart is loyal to you. Okay. And if that is the case, right, they're going to make it through those challenges. They're going to make it happen. Maybe they feel like they're in a rush right now trying to figure things out. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? Honesty. Okay. We like that being honest and then we also have the moon I'm seeing forbidden at the bottom some of you yeah religious forbidden maybe and we have trapped here maybe for some of you it's like a forbidden love situation maybe this person is being honest with you about their fears their insecurities their worries Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number one, I'm sorry, pile number two, pile two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with the black ibis or ibis tarot with the tiger's eye, this is going to be a reading. So before we get into asking the question, what will they do next and what will happen between the two of you, we're going to do a quick check as far as the energy between you and your person what is the current situation between you and your person okay if this doesn't really match then i would say go back and choose one of the other piles okay we want to make sure that you're getting the right messages for your situation but even with that once we pull the tarot you want to make sure that you are being also discerning if it's really something that is matching something that's happening in your situation Okay, so what is the current situation in pile number three's connection with their person? What is the current situation? What is the current situation? Pile number three's connection, nine of pentacles. What is the current situation? Now, the Nine of Pentacles is about independence, single. So maybe some of you, this person is someone who's very career focused, or you could be right now um, working on career, working on finances, things of that nature, like very self-focused energy. We do also have the Four of Cups here. So some of you could be dealing with someone who has rejected you, Um now that could, of course, go either way. The energy within the tarot is something that is fluid. Okay, so feel free to reverse the energies as necessary. But the four of pent, or I'm sorry, the four of cups is a card of rejection. Um, some of you could have been or felt rejected in by this person or vice versa. Let's see what else. What is the current situation? Someone could also be feeling emotionally discontent. And then I'm also seeing the Nine of Cups energy here. This makes me feel like some of you could be in a situation right now where someone is more so focused on themselves. Okay? Either you've been focusing only on yourself or they've only been focusing on the self. 
And maybe that Four of Cups is in reference to actually being together or choosing love, choosing uh, the connection. It could be being a little bit <clears throat> self-focused. So what is the current situation between you and your person, Pile 3? The Queen of Wands. The Hermit, yeah. So there's definitely energy of someone who's being withdrawn here. Maybe even someone who's feeling a lost. I'm feeling kind of like the difference between two people where one person is like super empowered. Someone is, you know, focused on their goals in life and things of that nature where the other person might kind of be at a place in their life where they're not on the same page. They may be feeling a little bit lost, a little withdrawn, trying to find their way. Um, let's see here. What is the current situation? Four of Pentacles in reverse. I'm getting that there is attraction between you and this person. You're both attracted to each other. But I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles, there's some unstable energy. And it could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, I'm also getting there's kind of like this fear of loss or fear of letting go. There could be an attachment. The Ace of Cups in reverse. This can talk about emotional blockages or someone who is not open to love at this time. Someone who is uh, emotionally closed off, unavailable. Two of Cups. What is the current situation? King of Pentacles. Okay. And then I'm seeing the Two of Swords at the bottom. So there's some someone who's here who is feeling uh, indecisive, stuck. I'm feeling with the Two of Cups energy here, there is connection. Some of you I'm getting spirits telling me you guys work with this person. This could be a work situation. There's mutual attraction here. Some of you, there is an emotional connection, an emotional bond that you have with this person. I'm just kind of getting this energy where one person is very empowered. One person is all about you know, ready, ready to receive love, ready for commitment, ready for things of that nature where the other person is just not there. Just not there. Someone's bringing in a very grounded, secure energy, all about commitment, wanting commitment. The other person may be a little bit flighty and more like I'm single and focusing on my stuff or myself. It makes me feel like two people are on two different pages, you know? Um, maybe someone you're dealing with that's not ready for commitment or, you know, is maybe even rejecting the idea of commitment, closing themselves off emotionally. Where the other person is like, I'm ready for love. I'm ready for bringing this connection forward and committing here. That's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, so let's pull a little bit of Oracle. What is the current situation between you and this person? And we do have strong Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer. Strong Cancer energy here. We also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is the current situation for pile number three caring connection man holding a heart which doesn't have to be gender specific it's just talking about someone having feelings here we have the fifth chakra which is the throat chakra and i'm seeing the garden and the gate now, this makes me feel like someone has either been holding back, has something to say, hasn't said it. Maybe there's some blockages surrounding the throat chakra with this person being able to um, voice their feelings. 
voice feelings here. Maybe talk about... Some of you I'm getting there's like a fear of commitment, okay? A person with the fear of commitment here. Even with the garden and the gate. To me, this card talks a lot about expansion because looking at how she's kind of like inside the gate and she looks like a little bit uncertain about going through the gate into that vast openness, right? All that whole grassy area that's out there. Opportunity. So it makes me feel like, is this person not sure what they want right now? Afraid. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting. So if this kind of matches what it what it is that you're kind of going through with this person right now, um, then we'll go into the tarot. If it doesn't match, then feel free to choose one of the other uh, piles. Let's see. Yeah, definitely getting someone feeling lost, not knowing what they want. One person who knows exactly what they want. I want commitment. The other person, maybe it's like it is a lot of attraction and passion and an emotional connection, but maybe afraid of commitment, you know, afraid of going from single to in a relationship, wanting to work on themselves and maybe be free, choosing solitude. Okay, so what will they do next? Pile number three, what will happen between the two of you? What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you, pile three? We have the high priestess. What will they do next? we have all major arcana here look at that high priestess fool emperor the magician and strength what will they do next what will happen between you and this person the knight of cups okay okay i like it what is this Nine of Pentacles. Wow. What is this? Ten of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And then the Ace of Wands. Interesting. And then I'm seeing the Chariot at the bottom. Okay. Okay, Ace of Swords is right underneath that, followed by the Ten of Cups. So, overall energy we have is the Chariot. The Chariot is about progress. It's about moving forward, moving something forward with you. The Ace of Swords to me is about this person gaining clarity. Some There's some type of breakthrough happening between you and this person. And... I'm feeling for some of you, it's like this person has been holding themselves back. Okay, I'm seeing that here with the Ten of Wands. Holding themselves back. And I feel like a lot of that is because of the being single. Like, I want to be single. I want to do my own thing. I'm focused on myself. So they may even be kind of acting out of character. There could be delays with this person's action. However, I feel like this Cherry Energy and the Ace of Swords is helping them to gain clarity. The High Priestess energy to me is about this person uh, listening to intuition. Okay, there's, I feel like a listening to what their, their intuition is really telling them about this. And I'm seeing that this person is finding the courage within themselves to be able to take action. Because I do feel like there's interest here with the Magician energy. This person's interested in manifesting something with you. And I'm seeing the Knight of Cups here, which is about coming forward. This person coming forward with some type of romantic offer opportunity. Maybe for some of you that is reconnecting. Some of you it's for the first time. And the full energy is about taking the risk, taking a leap of faith. The Emperor could be about planning, strategy. 
you know, uh, planning to take action here and trying to think of a plan. How am I going to do this? When am I going to do this? Um, so yeah, it makes me feel like this person's able to kind of work through these energies that may have been blocking and creating blockages here. But there's some type of breakthrough happening as far as progress between the two of you. Okay. And I do feel like ultimately with the Knight of Cups energy here, this person is going to be listening to intuition, taking the leap of faith and coming forward with some type of offer here with the Knight of Cups. Okay. Whether that is the expressing feelings, whether that is, I want to date you, whether that is, I want to reconcile with you. Um, I feel like that's where the, this person's heart is. So I'm feeling that there is progress happening for you. Plus leading to this 10 of cups, we've got the six of cups. Some of you that is reconciling. We've got the king of cups underneath that as well. Okay. Six of cups for some of you, reunion, reconciliation, the King of Cups can also be this person having very strong feelings towards you or revealing those feelings. Okay. Okay, so let's see what else. We've got Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, what else? Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries. We've already got that. Okay. So what will they do next, pile three? What will happen between the two of you? We've got regret. Someone's feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have unrequited. One-sided love, not enough attraction, feelings are not mutual. This makes me feel like maybe this person, if they had rejected you, which is what we saw earlier, remember? Did I already shuffle them? No. Yeah, there's the Four of Cups, right? That is the rejection. So if this person had rejected you in the past, push you away, I'm single, I'm doing my own thing, I'm not ready for a relationship right now, but you were like, I am, I want commitment, I'm ready to give my heart. To me, this is this person taking that time to think about that, right? That could be that breakthrough this person is having, like, what did you do? Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you reject Pile 3? Why didn't you see this, you know? Okay, let's see what else. What will they do next? What will happen between the two of you? We have angry. Resentment, invalidated, mistreated, and being triggered. Now, of course, this can be totally opposite, right? You could be the person who rejected them. They could be someone who's angry, feeling mistreated, being triggered, okay? Especially with the Knight of Wands in reverse, that would be a little bit of a temper temperamental type of energy feeling angry okay let's see what else what will they do next what will happen between the two of you we have unvalued taken for granted unequal give and take not feeling appreciated okay so that can be you that's angry for feeling unvalued by this person unrequited rejection this person having regret which makes me feel, because I saw underneath the deck, where was it? Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, Justice. If this is something that's happened between the two of you, where either one of you were taken for granted, feeling rejected, feeling mistreated, Justice is about making things right. Okay? Doing the right thing. So bringing balance to this. Maybe this person is bringing justice to this situation. Okay. Paralyzed. Paralyzed by love, holding back, fear of falling in love. Okay. Fear of falling in love. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have broken promises, feeling misled, trust is broken, unreliable. And this may be kind of like what you've been, maybe for some of you, have been dealing with in this situation. Okay. what else what will they do next what will happen between the two of you yeah some of you this can already be past this can already be something you're currently dealing with you've already gone through this with this person what will they do next what will happen between the two of you we have mirroring here mirroring maybe they're mirroring uh certain patterns of behavior we have completion here 
Maybe the two of you guys were triggering each other for some of you. Triggering each other's shadows for growth. We have the spotlight, which to me is kind of like all eyes on you. This person's attention being directed towards you. We have secret knowledge here. That is that high priestess energy. We have innocence, which to me in a, in a way, it's kind of like feeling of a beginning. And I'm seeing potential at the bottom. So maybe this person is kind of, yeah, we've got winds of change right underneath that. Like something's changing here in this situation. Maybe this cycle of this undervaluing here is something that's also coming to a completion for you with this person. The broken promises, right? We have a person who has a fear of falling in love. It could be you, could be them. But someone seeing the potential here, right? The connection being in the spotlight. Maybe going within answers. And that's where that clarity comes through. Bringing in winds of change into this connection. Okay. Last messages, pile number three. What will they do next? And what will happen between the two of you? We have obedience. Which this is reminding me a lot of the justice card. Okay, this to me is a lot about doing the right thing, making things right in this situation. We have the fledgling here. I'm just going to cover this up a little bit. Um, okay, so the fledgling. To me, that is nurturing something, nurturing, maybe creating a new beginning. We have listening. To me, that is them listening more into what uh, their intuition is telling them. We also have hope here. So bringing in change into this situation, and I feel like in a positive way for you, okay, with this person. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number three. I do hope that this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.